How you doing, everybody? Today we're going to take a quick look at Missing. This was written and directed by Will Merrick and Nick Johnson and stars Storm Reed and Joaquin de Almeida. Reed plays 18-year-old June, who lives with her mother. Her father sadly passed away many years ago from some type of cancer. And she is tasked with picking up her mother and her boyfriend from LAX after a romantic getaway. But they never show up. Since the FBI moves a little too slowly for her liking, she decides to try to track down her mother herself with the help of a very nice Colombian gig worker. This is a sequel of sorts to the movie Searching that came out a few years ago, which I very much enjoyed, and it does contain a few minor references to Searching, but for the most part, it's a standalone film. The main connection between the two movies is they use the same unconventional style, showing laptop and phone screens and security cameras and stuff like that. And much like Searching, I really enjoyed this. I am fascinated by this style of, what do we call it, screen capture filmmaking? It's something that really should not work, but somehow it does. It worked in Searching, it worked in Missing. To a lesser extent, it worked in Unfriended. I didn't particularly like Unfriended, but it wasn't because it was on a laptop screen. It's because the story was kind of crap. I mean, if you want me to nitpick it, there were a couple of moments where it felt like they were trying a little too hard. Like, there's one shot I remember that comes from a car's backup camera, which just felt unnecessary. What can we put in this movie that we haven't already? I know, a backup camera! Really? And it is a little weird for someone's webcam to be active as often as June's is, although the movie kinda provides an explanation for that. No spoilers, but there is something there. And while this is a very interesting way to make a movie, I do appreciate that they do not use the gimmick as a crutch. The screen capture thing certainly helps it to stand out from the crowd, but if you shot this like a conventional movie, it would still work. The story is very well told. I think I lost count of how many twists and turns it takes. It is constantly playing with your expectations. And the screen capture gimmick actually allows them to do some pretty clever misdirection here and there. Saying I was on the edge of my seat wouldn't, strictly speaking, be true because theater seats recline nowadays and sitting on the edge of one of those is difficult. But I was engaged from start to finish. Very strong characters, solid performances all around. Storm Reed is very good as June, a teenager on the cusp of adulthood who is so over her overbearing and overprotective mother. And you can feel every bit of her exasperation as she keeps trying to figure out what happened to her mother and just keeps running into dead ends. And the other major player is Joaquim de Almeida as Javier. June can't very well travel to Colombia by herself, which is the last place her mother was, so out of desperation she looks up the Colombian equivalent of TaskRabbit and hires Javier to go wandering around the city doing some investigation for her. And I don't think I've seen that much of de Almeida before, but he was really good in this, and everybody should have a friend like Javier. He is the nicest and most patient guy on the planet, and it's just impossible not to like him. And be sure to tip your gig workers, because you never know when they might save someone's life. Overall, a lot of fun, very engaging story. I love seeing what they can do with this gimmick, and I highly recommend checking it out. That's all I have to say about Missing. Till next time, take care.